Hey guys, Todd's Computer Help here, and today I'm going to show you how to do the glass effect. So, to do the glass effect, you're going to need two things. You're going to need a wallpaper. On uh, an example, I'm using like this glassy kind of waterfall now in black uh, background. And I'm using my name in a text file. I'll have this image uploaded in the description, and from there we'll go and um, have it as an example. So the first thing you want to do is end up opening it up. I'm going to just simply paste it and do from here. So it's I already have it done. So there's the background. The first thing I'm, I would do with the background is you want to make sure you click on it. Hold down control if you're on Windows and I think command key if you're on Mac. But and then press U to get the hue and the saturation, uh, saturation. change color eyes, um, check off color eyes I mean and what you're going to want to do is you see that turns kind of purple you want to change it to 202 you want to change that to 68 and you see it's staying blue and then you want to do plus 10 to change up the lightness to make it more bluer and there you go, you got the background kind of situation going on right here where you can see that I had one and then I had that one but so afterwards what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and have your name plan, you're going to want to make sure it's white, it's bold and it fills up like however much space that you want but enough room so that it kind of gives you the overlapping layer and so what you're going to do is right click and go to blending options and you're going to right off the bat check off drop shadow and in, uh, inner shadow excuse me, inner glow, bevel and, and emboss, uh, satin if I said that right, stroke and so from there we're going to go to drop shadow make sure it's multiply black 94% negative 66 use global light then distance to size would be 5 0 13 then click inner shadow multiply for blend mode white 75% opacity negative 66 angle use global light from distance to size again 8 11 and 4 Inner glow is going to want to put screen for blend mode, opacity 75, noise 0. For the solid color, you're going to want to go and use the star at the bottom where it would probably say 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And type in B, E, E, 0, F, F to get a nice blue. Then you're going to want to go to softer technique, edge 0, 27. And now you're going to go to bevel and emboss. You're going to use inner bevel, smooth 100% up, four size, two soften, negative 66 angle, use global light, uh, altitude is 26. And then for the gloss contour, it's going to be on the bottom row, four from the uh, left or three from the right. It's going to be almost like a lowering type mountain. <laughs> And anti uh, Alice uh, screen white 75% multiply black 75%. Now to go to Saturn, it's going to be multiply uh, with the color uh, code number for the color is 006FCE and then opacity 50, dis uh, angle 19, distance 34 size 65 and now stroke is going to be 2 outside soft line 100 gradient fill the normal black to white linear 90% 100% and then just click OK now what you're going to want to do is make sure uh, the text is selected and go to fill and bring fill down to 0 and you should see now you have the glass effect that was completed uh, any comments or questions, feel free to message me or comment. I'll try to get back to them as soon as possible. Um, uh, any tutorials you would want, request, and from there on, 
uh, just comment, right, subscribe. Hope you liked the video. Hope it was easy to learn. Uh, if you have any worries or if you found anything confusing, feel free to message me or comment, and I'll have the background image in the description. Alright, so comment, rate, subscribe.